Hi oh guys and dolls, how are we doing? Uh, right, I want to talk to you about uh, my fish tank. I bought um, some more uh, Bristol Plecos, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, a male, female and two white ones. Um, I'll tell you what they are in a moment. Uh, right, so I've been having a problem, as I've said before, uh, losing some fish. Uh, I lost some more. Um, I lost the white Pleco, uh, the reds, um, Bristol Noses. And a couple of others. Um, some, do you know what I want to say? Stickleback, uh, mollies and guppies and things, you know, on and off. And I noticed that uh, on the um, couple of the uh, plecos, there's like a a mark on them in the middle, um, which don't make sense. Um, I then the water test myself, which I do myself anyway. Um, or the wife helps me. Um, Grace basically does it. Um, and we did a water test, can't find anything wrong with it. Uh, done water changes as you're supposed to, done filter change, done half a tank, you know, 50%, still kept losing fish. Um, not every day, but maybe one, two, three a week, um, didn't make sense. So I decided to go to uh, the pet stores. Um, I went to more than one, um, some specialise in fish, some do a bit of all sorts, uh, like pets at home, for instance, and there's more stores other than them. Um, so we went and got water tests and they all said no, no, um, it's no good, so I went to Maiden Aquatics, they said no, your water's fine, it's not that, um, so uh, when I say no good I mean they said it's not that, that's doing it, they ain't got a clue. Um, so I've been at Meteva, um, in fact I thought about packing it up at one stage, and I was talking to somebody else at a different pet store and they said, um, uh, this happens sometimes, you know, this this something happens with life, this is <coughs> the way it is, this is nature, etc. I said, yeah, I appreciate that, but it just seems a lot of fish. You spend a lot of money in there and you're losing a lot. Um, don't make sense. Well, we sat here one night and, uh, or in fact, one afternoon to start with, and the common pleco seemed to be chasing all the fish. And I thought, well, no, it can't be that. It's got to be because he's gone one end of the tank to the other end of the tank. Um, he is quite big and what he's doing is fighting them so they're all scalping makes sense I said to the wife grace she said yeah it's probably that um but then we watched him um must have been a week later he was actually chasing the fish uh and then he sort of um rammed them if he can he sort of it's as if in a way it's as if he jumped um and he's hit him uh this is what i think the marks are is the bruising um, I've been reading, it does say that plecos can eat dead fish. Why he's chasing them, or whatever, I don't know. We tried everything. I took plants out to make more space. Um, fed them as I've been told to. We have had him about four years. So it's not like he's new, because we bought him when he was about, I don't know, half an inch long, and he's supposed to be a bristle nose. So we've got a bigger tank, bigger tank, bigger tank to um, compensate him. Because I bought him for the wife as a bristle nose. That's what she wanted. If she liked that fish, we got it. So it turned out not to be one. Uh, so what we've had to do is we own him. We've owned, we owned him at um, Maiden Air Aquatics. They've taken him in. They've got a thousand litre uh, tank in there. They put stuff in and he's in there. Uh, I will show you a picture of him. Um, we've been up to see him again and he looks really happy in there. So it was sad to re-own him, but we re-owned him. Um, in the last week since he's been gone, uh, being honest, uh, touch wood, um, we haven't lost no fish. Uh, have any of you had common plecos, or even any pleco that's done this? Um, because we can't find out why. We talked to the store, they said, you know, this was um, a week later, this week. Uh, we went up there and spoke to them, and so they said he's really calm, he's fine. Not a problem. But then he's in a big tank and with just a few fish. Um, have you had a problem? Has that happened to you? Uh, you know, do, please comment down below and tell me. Um, have you any ideas why? You know, uh, we thought it might have been a uh, tank, but we've got a bigger tank. So, you know, it's nearly six foot tank. Um, but, what, you know, we don't know. But anyway, uh, we won't keep rabbiting on. I will put a picture up of him on here um, and I'll show you the plecos. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next is have a look at uh, what I bought. So I'll speak to you in a second.
Okay, before we let them go, I'll try and show you. Uh, there's one in the bag. I'm going to let them out in a moment. Um, what we're going to try and do is to wait for let them out and then we'll see them. But that's an LDA um, 74. Uh, that's the male. It's, they've got like a really dark, but they've got like a bluey tint to them, I think. Um, but he's gorgeous. Uh, and these are called Snow Whites. Um, little tiny white ones. Can you see them? Um, they're really little. Uh, they're really young. Uh, oh, I've got a job to see that really, but we'll try and see that in a minute. And then, of course, uh, we've got the. I don't know what come around too much. I think I might have to let them go first. Let me just push that one to the back and bring that one over there. And then we'll have a look at this one. Um, and this one's a little bit smaller. Um, got a bit of a job to see it, to be honest. Uh, I was hoping we could see it a bit better, but. Well, we're not going to mess around too much, we're going to let them go, that's what we're going to do. Uh, hopefully we're going to see this. Um, and before I let them go, I just thought I'd show you this. This is my, <laughs> your Molly gets me, my male uh, bristle nose, he's got quite big now. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're going to go for letting these go now. I'm going to try and hopefully uh, see them go down. So this is the female we're letting go first, uh, hopefully. Um, I suppose, there we go. Look at that, it's on the side. Uh, oh, this is a male as well. So, okay, we've got two males. Um, I did ask for a female, he did try to get it, but he's obviously got a male and not a female. Uh, but no problem. Um, I thought I'd focus him in, let him focus, let him focus. When we come in next, well, we're going to snow the snowy ones next. Snowy ones are thing. Um, there's one. Oh, there's... And that's the I said, there's one. Um, which I would have showed you, but there you go. So, can't get a very good uh, um, thing at the moment. I don't know where the other one went, but we'll have a look in the moment. So this male is going to be quite big, a bit like my bristle nose already. Uh, a little bit disappointing because I did ask for a female but obviously um, couldn't see him very well. Uh, here we go, Let's look at that, the size of that thing. He's a real big fella. Oh, he's jumped, he fell on top of the other one. <laughs> so they're both together. Um, so yeah, both males. Um, but no worries, we just have to try and get a female sometime. And the little white one sat behind it. Uh, I can't see the other one at the moment. Um, we will keep looking a second and see if we can see it. Uh, they seem happy. Oh, there it is there, look. Uh, there you go. So we've got white ones. Um, as I said, we had these before, and like I said, we lost them. Um, so yeah, a little bit uh, disappointing that it's two males, but you know, we want to uh, sleep over it. Um, so that's those. I uh, don't know if you can see, but there's my albino just inside the cage, look. Inside the cave. Um, oh, let me see that focusing. 
Ah, uh, look at them beauties. They are nice, these are. Uh, they're getting quite big since I last showed you them. Um, they're loaches. Uh, I'm going to have to ask the wife because she'll be able to tell me um, what the actual name is. Hillstream loach. Hillstream loach, that's it. Um, oh. See, one minute it's focused, next minute it's not. And it seems to disappear a little bit. Let me try and stick it out a little bit. There you go. So, yeah. And uh, that's all we have a fish. Oh, we, um, I have said before, I've got ba one baby guppy. It uh, looks like we've got one baby molly that I can see at the moment. Um, yeah, they're going to move around now, look, look. So, yeah. Beautiful. Um, so, yeah, it's all doing well, really. Let me show you. There it goes. Oh, too far in. So yeah, everything else just seems to be doing well. I can't show you the baby because I can't see it, but uh, I think it seems happy at the moment. It was good. So I say, um, let's turn you around a little bit. There you go. So please like and subscribe. Um, any comments, comment below. And we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.